whole surround sound. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to unround the sound. There won't be no clown. Don't get mad at me because you ain't got no rhyme. Because you can't rhyme without punchlining. So I ain't not die on the book. Who done fell? CJ again. <laughs> CJ, you done dropped. How many times you done dropped your book? We can let that bad man put it on you, ain't it? He been notorious. He notorious for dropping his book. Age men. Age men are not always wise. <laughs> Y'all are off the chain. Let's look at this uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 1. Listen to the book. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Yeah. Let <coughs> every one of us please his neighbor for his ta'ub to edification. What happened? For even Mashiach pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. That's beautiful. That's what he said. The reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. <coughs> Listen. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. <coughs> yeah. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, you don't get me the book of Romans. I'm sorry. Uh, no, not Romans. Yeah. No, Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians two and one. Hold that for me. Second Corinthians. Periodically, sometimes we can <coughs> lose sight of what we're doing. You know, as the Dabarim come to purify us and show us a better way in the right way, it's time we can kind of get up and kind of forget where we came from. Y'all all right? Let that bend on this. We, we can do that. We, we tend sometimes to forget how things happen or how things operate. But that's what we're here for. So we can learn better, right? 14, eh, not close to 11. Well, <coughs> let's, uh, let's just take a look. Let's see how they work. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Listen. But I determined this with myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness. Listen. For if I make you sorry. You hear that? Y'all hear that? So I would say purpose this before he came to him. That he wasn't going to come to them in heaviness. He said, for if I made you <coughs> sorrowful. Uh -huh. Who is he then that maketh me glad? But who? But the same which is made sorry by me. So now he looked at it. He looked at how he came and how he approached them. He said, if he came to make them feel down and feel discouraged or distraught, he said, he looked at these the same people he looked to get joy from. That's the same thing we look to do. We look to feed from one another. It don't take nothing to kill each other. It really don't. It don't take nothing to hold nothing over nobody's head or uh, uh, look to try to demonize nobody, but you have to consider yourself. Everybody, and we all come from somewhere. Everybody, and we all come from somewhere. I mean, mistakes can be good. <coughs> so mistakes give you a chance to try to improve what you're doing. They do, it can work. Everything works for a purpose. It's just a matter of having a mind to look at how you take and use an opportunity. Some of us use opportunity of failure, uh, or failure in an area not to improve with it, but we use it to kind of linger on it. We use it as a handicap versus you take it, you can use it as a strength. You realize what not to do and you look at how things and how you have to position yourself. That's what we're looking for. Everybody in here had to consider that. I mean, I look at this. When I give out correction to people, I cut down pretty hard. It's, it's, it's just going to be rare. Somebody's going to need something behind me. It's, it's just be honest. <coughs> so you're going to take a pretty good one from me. I usually do pretty good. You, did you say mm-hmm? Did you say, mm-hmm? I'll be talking with you later. <laughs> but I mean, it is. When you had to get it from me, it's kind of one of them things where it kind of make you feel probably that tall. And then you had to kind of recover from that. The last thing we had to do is give it to each other. That's that being honest. So let's see what he told. Let's listen to the book. Listen. And I wrote this same unto you, lest when I came, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice. Listen. Having confidence in you all, yeah. that my joy is the joy of you all. Listen. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many tears. What happened? Not that ye should be grieved. What, what? But that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Listen. 
But if any have caused grief, what he has not grieved me, but in part, Listen. that I may not overcharge you all. See that? They look at you. That's what I look at. I don't let one person of <coughs> the effect that one person affect me in every area of what I do. Sometimes we tend to do that. He said, if anybody grieved me, he said, I only did me in part. Because he looked at he had to consider the rest of the congregation. He had to consider the rest of the people. A lot of times we do stuff, I don't think we really consider. I really don't think we consider when we do stuff. Listen. Sufficient, sufficient to such an each is this punishment, what happened? which was inflicted of many. Listen. So that contrarywise, ye ought rather to forgive him. But what? And comfort him. Yeah. Lest perhaps such an one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. See that? You hear what he told them? Sufficient enough of what they already suffer. He said, now what you supposed to be able to do, we supposed to be able to how to comfort one another. I tell you all the time, if they, anybody that's in here, they'll remember that we supposed to know how to treat them. I just be honest. If anybody I feel like a detriment or hurt us or destroyed us, I'll remove them. Me and you, we'll do the job. Y'all hear me? A lot of times people might have in their mindset, in their concept, it's time for people to go or people uh, become insufficient or, in, or unimportant to them. You got to consider, you need to leave that in the hands of the people qualified for it. That's it. He told you to first make sure you see to get the beam out of your own eye. Or you seem to get the moat out your brother. A lot of people don't listen. A beam is bigger than a moat. So a lot of times you'll go trying to reach and take something out of somebody, and you'll realize you got more detriment in yourself than somebody got in them. That's for all of us in here. But we learn. That's what we come to do. This book teaches us how we ought to walk in every aspect. When we come along, because what we'll do, we can get proficient in not lying or coveting or stealing or other thing, but then we'll make, we'll come up short on how we ought to treat one another. Or how we supposed to love one another. Y'all all right? Let's see something. Hold that. Let me see the book of Matayahu. Let me see six and nine. <coughs> Matter of fact, make it uh, Matayahu. Uh, see what that's six and by six. Let's see what that's about. Listen. But thou, when thou, Palal, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, Palal to thy Abba, which, which is in secret, and thy Abba, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. What happened? But when ye, Palal, use not vain repetitions, uh -huh. as the heathen do. Why, what? For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. What happened? Be, be not ye therefore like unto them. Yeah. For your Abba knoweth what things ye have need of Listen. before ye ask him. Mm -hmm. After this manner, therefore, plow ye. Like what? Abba knew, which art in Shamayim. That's right, our father. Abba be, be knew. Listen. Hallowed be thy name. That's right. Thou Makut come. Yeah. Thou will be done well. in Arat, as it is in Shamayim. What we going to ask him? Give us this yum. Our daily bread. Yeah. And forgive us our debts. You said do what now? And forgive us our debts. What, whatever we owe, whatever we've done. As we forgive our debtors. That's tight. A lot of us in here, we got a lot to pay for. But he told them when they pull out, you need to remember this. You got to <coughs> know when to forgive people. If you want to be forgiven for what you've done, when you ask for your forgiveness, make sure you got your heart to forgive other people. That's right. Now, especially when they come down to us. That's right. That's the thing about it. Sometimes we do better with people in the street than we do with one another. Yep. Yeah, man, we, we a whole less great. We work hard to try to show people in the street yep. just how solemn we are or how saved we are or how we walk according to the Dabarine. But then we fall short when they come to one another. Yep. Some stuff we'll say and do to one another, we won't even do it to people in the street. That's right. Isn't that right? It's just being honest <coughs> with you. It, that's we talking about forgiving. We looking at, hey, we all in the same fight. Yes, we're sir. We'll be the same play. We all had the same mind. Y'all know that? Yes, sir. And remember, he told me, he said, when you tell us to forgive us this you our debts. Said, just like we got to forget old, they yes. got debts against us. That's right. Y'all all right? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, <coughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. At the same time, there are things we have to suffer. It make a purpose. Let's look at something. Order, y'all. 16 and 1. Let's see what that says. I 
I tell her all the time, any way you want to use up your strength, hey, use it on them people out there. I remember my mom used to get on me and my sister. She said, y'all fight like cats and dogs. She would say, fight them people out in the street like that. Listen to the book. And he said unto his Mathesis, there was a certain rich Ish which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. Mm. <coughs> what happened, brother? And he called him and said unto him, how is it that I hear this of thee? Mm -hmm. Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, what shall I do? For my Adonai taketh away from me the stewardship. What happened? I cannot dig. To beg, I am ashamed. Yeah. I am resolved what to do. You know what amazing? I got a lot of them in here that can do that. A lot of y'all can't work. Are y'all try trying to do something on my mic or that with me? All right. A lot of y'all here, just be honest with you, you ain't got nothing that you can be doing. That's just being honest. A lot of y'all in here, if you pay attention to this, a lot of this is us. A lot of y'all ain't got no, other, got no other talent, no other gift. You ain't got no survival. I can't survive. That's right. That's just being honest. Then a lot yeah. of y'all got too much pride because you spend too much time trying to look and be more than what y'all. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't waste a lot. It's, it ain't a lot. Of, several y'all here waste too much time with pride. It don't, I don't know how you get pride and you ain't got shit. I don't That's know right. What, I don't That's know right. what kind of pride I got. I ain't got a shit. That's nothing. right. I couldn't make a whole turd. I don't know where my pride going to be at. That's right. When you have pride that people have, you usually you got something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. It don't make sense. I don't get it, but y'all spend time trying to have it. But anyway, go ahead. I am resolved what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. What happened? that when I am put out of the stewardship, yeah. they may receive me into their houses. Listen. So he called every one of his Adonis debtors unto him what happened? and said unto the first, yeah. how much owest thou unto my Adonis? Listen. And he said, an hundred measures of oil. And what happened? And he said unto him, take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Yeah. Then said he to another, <coughs> and how much owest thou? Mm -hmm. And he said, an hundred measures of wheat. Yeah. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and write for a score. Listen. And the other he commended the unjust steward. Why? Because he had done wisely. Listen. For the Bene of this Arats are in their generation wiser than the Bene of Aor. You see that? That bad. That bad that these sinners got more sense than we got. Yeah. That's bad. They operate better <coughs> than we do when they come down to each other. Yeah, folks here do the same thing. They'll sit in there, whole stuff old people here. They done dumb, dumb stuff themselves. Monetarily wise, especially, and there are a whole stuff on other here, other people here, and try to kill them. Yep, that is notorious. Old me, mm -hmm. and there are a whole stuff on people here, and try to kill them. And they don't even try to look at it. First thing I try to do is try to look at him. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna forget it. Hell, I done messed up. I'm older man. That's right. That's right. I ain't no position to try to go run nobody else and try to kill them. That's nobody. right. They're yeah, being honest. Yep. They're being real honest with everybody. A lot of us have. We got to start looking, reposition how we do stuff. We get too much information out of it. I mean, just down through the, I mean, just weekly on how we ought to do things, how we ought to treat one another. And sometimes we tend to let stuff slip, which we shouldn't. We shouldn't. At the second chapter of the book of um, Abarim, 2 and 1, they call it Hebrews. Time I leave here, I want to make sure I leave a pattern. Some of y'all know how to follow. That's right. That being honest, I know a lot of times people say, I like preacher. I want No, you're not. Just stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. That's right. I heard a lot of folks try to use that and try to try to pull that junk. I'm trying to do like you try to do preach. I'm trying to do like you. I'm trying to do like you. Just do what I tell you to do. That's you right. Don't right. put yourself in a ring that sometimes it ain't for everybody. That's right. I don't do what I do without no suffering now. I mean, he can manage to do. That's just that's just a skill level I got. Mm -hmm. But I ain't got nothing to do with no salvation. People do well, just <coughs> stay in your lane, just maintain. Sometimes people do better, just stay with one thing. That's right. Anything is getting the kingdom. He ain't got no special spot for people that can multitask. That's right. That's right. All the places he got for people that are gonna be saved. That's right. Y'all hear me? That's yes, the only thing he got no place for, for multitasking. Sometimes the more stuff you take on, the more responsibility, the more sorrow, more headache you get with it. Learn to take your time, just get through what you got. 
And you don't get nothing without no cost. Make no mistake. Anything you get going to have a car. Go get a pretty car. That pretty car going to have a pretty car note. Yes, sir. That's a pretty insurance. Yes, sir. That's some pretty maintenance with it right because it's right. newer. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Just being honest. Anything you pick up, go get a new house. That new house going to come with some a new payment. Yep. And new responsibility. Yep. Everything you get got a debt going to have something you got to do to it. The main thing we got to make sure we faith for what we got with our salvation. Yes, brother. sir. You do better just stay at the skill set level you got and just make sure you stay focused and take care of what you got to do first with your salvation. Mm -hmm. Once you get this stuff, it's the worst thing you ever got. All right, folks, everybody try to run out and start a business. Like, and then what be bad, most of y'all don't even know nothing about business. Y'all <laughs> just run and go start something. But, but like Michael said, just want to be started something. something. That's right. <laughs> got to be started. Just got to be started something. That's and you don't right. have no business sense. No business savvy. You don't understand how business works. And business sells for you to fail. Let me tell you something. Yeah. To do business right costs. It costs. Yes, it's right. It's going to cost you. To do business wrong, you could do it, but it's going to come with a lot of conniving. Yeah. And a lot of scheming. That's right. I'm going to tell you, it's going to cost you. If you're going to do business right, it's going to cost you. It's going to be a while before you see your retirement. It's not what you think. There's no business. You jump straight in. You can start making money. It's going to be a racket. <laughs> I'm just right. being that way. It's going to be a wreck. That's right. Don't let the people make no fool. I've been told you about it. all this. A lot of stuff ain't never pyramid. Yep. White people don't know how to make money. White people know how to create debt. Yep. All white people do is start hype. They start, they start people talking and going, getting poor people going, thinking, you can get what I got for $69.95. For $153, I'm going to teach you my secret. The little I know, I couldn't teach you for no $150. I just been with you. I couldn't do it. I couldn't afford to teach it to you. It'll take up too much time. There's nothing I can teach you for $150 something dollars. It just ain't gonna help. You won't have more money than that. It ain't gonna take to it. It's no way I can teach it to you in no hour. I ain't gonna be teaching in no three days. A lot of stuff just a wreck. That's how these people make their money. Cause you gotta think, I'm making millions of dollars. I'm worth millions of dollars. So I'm gonna send a room about a fifty or hundred dollars, and y'all gonna pay me sixty-nine dollars. Hell, I'm losing money. I'm actually losing money to deal with y'all for three days. <clears throat> Which means I can't be making the money I said unless I make the money I made from scamming y'all sitting in this room thinking you're going to get what I got for this small amount of money. It's a racket. Everything's a racket. It is. You got here long enough. Listen, I done seen so many. I done did so many business ventures. I done seen so much. It's like it's all just a scam. People tell you stuff when you really sit down and say how they doing, you're like, damn, you're scamming people. Yeah. Yep. That's all you're doing is scamming people. you fudging <clears throat> numbers. It don't exist. These people play you and make a fool out of you. It's gonna anything you're gonna get and you're gonna make it's gonna take a lot of hard work. Yeah. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take a lot of your money. Yep. It's gonna take a lot of your time. That's right. There is no benefit you're gonna get in, and you're just gonna jump out here and you just start making this boatload of money. But y'all try it anyway, and they'll come talk to me about it after they do it. I'm the wrong person to talk to. <laughs> then y'all talk about it with some more people ain't got shit. That would kill me. <laughs> Why am I talking to somebody? What do you do? I mean, I looked up some stuff on the internet. You the last person I want to talk to. Yeah. I said, man, I've been, I've been told y'all about a lot of this stuff. Man, I watch these people. Let me tell you something. From Bitcoin, we talked about that last stuff. Let me tell you something. And I try to tell y'all a lot of stuff. Y'all y'all learn anyway. Watch over time with stuff, white people. None of these people that got money out here make their money from that stuff. Don't ever believe those billionaires go put their money in this shit. These people make their money the other way. They don't have time to put them, they don't put their money where poor people. They make their money off of poor people being stupid, thinking they're gonna get rich from a little bit of nothing. You get enough people to stick a little bit of money in something, it'd be a whole lot of money. Yeah. Those people own real legitimate business. Go see if Warren Buffett got most of their money in damn Bitcoin, or he got most of his money in his businesses. Mm -hmm. This man owns a real estate company, one of the biggest real estate companies. This man has inventors that sit down here. This man got no shit in no Bitcoin. These people don't mess with no shit. Bill Gates is like number two in the top five richest men in the world. You think they money sitting in Bitcoin? They don't put their money in no market. Listen, when you make money, this is how I make money. I buy shit, I sell shit. Mm -hmm. That's real. Yeah. I ain't putting my money no damn way and let nobody come back and tell me on no piece of paper where my money at. Mm -hmm. I know where my money at. Yeah. Every one of my piece of money, I know where it's at. <laughs> That's right. I can put my eyes and my hand on it. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Every piece of money I put out, I know where it's at. 
and I know what I can get, I know what I can stand to lose. I can't afford for no damn paper coming to me and tell me I ain't got no money. Y'all effing. Do y'all think these people actually sitting on Facebook? McAfee told y'all a good one. <laughs> if it fail, he gonna suck his own penny. How much y'all think they pay him to say that? <laughs> the man invented McAfee. Mm -hmm. How y'all think he made his money? From the start, he invented a damn virus. Virus, protection. that's right. That's how he made his money. That's right, that's right. Then these people make their money doing the stuff y'all do. They just don't. These people do stuff that's gonna bring them real currency. <laughs> This shit he for to tell y'all about, um, this ain't nothing. Let me tell you something. I'll I tell you, we were laughing at this tell you, tell you simple stuff, simple stuff. Y'all believe this shit you want to. I can spend it anywhere in the world. Yeah, any country. That shit y'all got, you can't spend that stuff nowhere. I spend it, in, let me tell you something. Whatever you got, whatever courage they got, they use this to buy that shit you playing with. Yeah. So don't let nobody tell you these lies, this don't exist, this ain't real. These are lies people tell you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I tell y'all something, these people play games with y'all. That's right. It's a lot of stuff these folks make a fool out of. Go find, go in there and just rob one of them jokes. See, don't they have them regular Visa, MasterCard? <laughs> they ain't got no shit hooked up that stuff. They got a real card, they use real currency. Yeah. Y'all got it? A lot of this stuff these folks tell us, don't believe these people. It's, it all be good little hype. I talk, listen, I love the market long. I put my mind to the market long time. I just start, I just start to believe. <clears throat> I'll get them statement down, 14000 going 10000 I said, I wouldn't say, man, I said, man, I'm coming to the pool. I said, pull my money. He said, I said, stop it. I came, he said, he said, you pull your money. I said, Jeff went back up. He said, had you left your money, you would have. I said, what if I have left it, it would have dropped. He said, that's true, too. I said, let me get my money. That's right. That's right. We transferred all that shit out and put it right back in my bank account. I started working myself. That's right. When I lose my money, I know exactly where it went. That's right. That's right. Nobody don't send me no shit, no mail like this, talking about this him. That's not mine. <laughs> That's right. I ain't put my money down there. That's right. That's if right. If it got down there, somebody damn push it down. I didn't put my money down there. That's right. That's right. When I gave you mine, mine was up here. That's what I want. That's right. That's right. But we started here and shit here and they said, dude, they talk come man again. They, Man, that whole thing, I'm just telling you, it's a racket. Everything I hear, I'm building with y'all. You know, we're going to keep going. But this day, it's not just big. Don't think I'm talking about picking it on big. It's all this stuff. Start All this stuff a racket. I'm going yeah. to tell you what you want to do. You'll get a, four, a few poor people that'll make some money off of it. But you got to spend so much time watching it and learning the move. And they get, this is how they get you, to keep you in it. Shit drunk. Buy more of it. Well, my money gone. Last damn thing I want to do is buy some more shit just fail. Mm -mm, I'm good. I want them people, let me go ahead and get out. Why not? Get more, grab it. That's how they keep the hype going. See, this is how rich people make their money. They trick people and teach you when it drop, run buy more of it. You don't run and go buy more because I own this shit I made up. The more y'all keep buying it, you're going to push the number. I just let y'all watch that movie, Money Monster. Yeah. You saw they, did y'all pay attention to what they been getting ready to do? <clears throat> He said, everybody right now, that's about it. They said, listen, you got 10 million people watching. He said, this is what I want everybody to do. E-Trade, everyone, get your phones out right now. I want you to buy this stock and watch these numbers go up. So this is what you think about. So that means if enough people say a stupid enough buying, the business is actually not doing anything. Right, right. So you showing the people how easy it is to create this shit. Because mm -hmm. you sitting here and start buying it, it's going to take it up and make it like the business. So the business is found the man stole $800 million. Yep. So you buy more of it, how is the business doing better? You just put more money in for them to steal. I let y'all watch the movie. I'm going to see what y'all going to think. He ain't tell me nothing on that movie I ain't already know. He ain't tell me nothing on that movie I ain't already taught y'all. But y'all be hype, y'all get it going. Don't ever trust these people. Put your money where real stuff at. That's just being honest. These white folk, these folk, these big there, you don't see them people go lose no money on that shit. You don't see these people jumping off no building with that shit. Them folk don't play around with that stuff. They already know the stuff for racket. They made the racket. They made money off of poor people dreaming. Poor people just like, just, that shit ain't nothing but a lottery line. The people sit around talking to people in lottery, how stupid they hell, they money in the market. All you just lottery people. Put your money where you can see your money, where your money can make you money. And you can see your money come back. You put your shit in there, you don't know what them people doing. 
time you saying shit, moving and dropping 600 pounds, 2,000, they'll make up numbers and shoot stuff up there. And the reason the number go up is the same reason you saw in that movie. Yep. They tell them people something good to make those people buy. Yep. The company is not doing well. This is why Walmart and Sam is closing down. Right. This is why Kroger's had to be bought out by a foreign entity. Right. Nobody wanted to buy that failing shit. It's just being honest. They've been bought out by other companies because it's failing. These people are lying to you. The economy is not doing well. Hell, y'all sitting here, some of y'all ain't got no jobs. How many of y'all done got these new, how many of y'all done seen these new tax breaks on your paycheck? You see these crackers on the news. I'm bringing home more money. Where you damn getting paid at? They still rob my ass when they take my money. I ain't seen nothing change. How many of y'all done seen this big change? Anybody seen these big changes coming home, these big pay? How many of y'all jobs done get y'all raised with these new tax breaks? All the people getting raised in these little poor ass jobs. And then they let your ass go. They just pump and dump. That's all these people do. They pump and dump with these jobs. They pump and dump with these stuff. They playing with you. Put your money where it makes sense. Stop starting this little crazy little shit don't make no sense. When you're going to do business, a couple things going to have to be key for y'all to learn. You're going to look at demand. Yeah. How much supply is it? If you don't set yourself up with the right company in the right situation and put yourself in the right position, you ain't going to make it. Make Just it. grabbing something that's sold for a week. I mean, you can't build enough of no junk like that. You got to look at demand and how much supply is there. The supply need to be low and the demand need to be high. You got a lot of stuff got demand on, but there's too much supply out there. You can lose. Then you got to look at what you're buying it for. How much can you put it out here? How many other people selling it and it's bit cheaper than what you're selling it for? How accessible is the other people's supply? How as accessible is your supply? Y'all just be doing stuff because y'all see something and they say you can get started for $19.99. How much money do you think you'll make for $19.99? They're going to put you with other people making real money. Y'all got to start thinking. Y'all, just being honest with you, I just, last time I just look, I just like, I don't know, I don't know if y'all think. I done did enough failing businesses to look at some stuff, just let it keep going. That's a fact. Some of it might work out for somebody else. You got to have drive, you got to have push, you got to have no end of your hours to make it work. If you got something, it's a nine to five going, you better leave that shit alone, that's a job. You don't get a business, you're going to be putting in extra hours and time because you're going to have to be there and you're going to have to keep your eyes on it. you have to manage it. you got to make it work. Nothing going to work by itself. That's right. That's right. It just ain't going to happen. Not going to happen. You're going to have to have your eyes there on it and the right people in, you're going to put in play and you're going to be ready to shield people ass out the way yep. if they ain't getting done what you need done. That's Y'all right. Look, I ain't in love with nobody. I'll fire right. your ass. That's right. That's your extra. That's right. So yo, y'all want to start these little home brew, little home brew businesses? Start <laughs> that stuff. I just why that stuff make no sense. Then you had a t-shirt business. How that? How well? How many people call you about that shirt business? They were flying out the door, wasn't it? <laughs> Cost too high. The time you got to put in to do it. It's already too many people pumping them out doing it. Man, hell, you can go get a t-shirt for four dollars. Yeah. Man, what you can get a t-shirt for now? Hell, people buy, buy one and get five free. Yeah. We went to a play, they gave us t-shirt, long sleeve, mm -hmm. gave them to us. And the emblem, what, we gave them to them for $4 and gave us the emblem for free. Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. That's just how cheap it is. Now, how much you think they paid that they gave it to us for $4 and they gave us the Adidas symbol on them for free? Pennies on a dollar. The fact that they could put a machine in here and print anything we wanted on the shirt with Adidas on it. Yep. For $4, $5? For free? How much were they paying for these t-shirts? Yeah, right. Because this store definitely wasn't losing no money. Nope. <clears throat> Adidas let you put their name, their brand on a shirt for free. Somebody made money. Yep. When y'all do business, y'all do stuff, y'all got to start looking way ahead how much time it's going to take, how much you got in how to go and find the demand for what you're trying to do. Man, people go, man, you can't compete with Burlington. All these people, hell, Burlington them getting stuff that Macy's and all these other places, look, Macy's and them do like this. They're not keeping that shit like y'all go putting it back. They pushing out the door. We getting that shit for pennies. Push that shit out the door, sell a whole truckload off the Burlington, 
TJ Mad Lit. That's how they get yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. People are like, man, that that bird, you dumbass. That's amazing. <laughs> that's right. Dealers, they sell a truckload. Yep. Of all this shit they can't get rid of. From Canada to everything and shoving them truck. Because you know what? What is this? Spring? Do y'all know that when they start getting their spring stuff? Hell, right in December. December. Yeah. That's right. That's right. These people ain't waiting on spring or they already got it. Already got it. This shit already here. Now Easter finna be him. They can't afford no shit be sitting on no truck. That's right. That stuff, which means winter stuff is shot out. Yep. We've been getting rid of winter. We already planning. Y'all behind. Y'all trying to do a bit. That's how far ahead these stores are. Yeah. Do y'all not know when they start moving Christmas stuff? I'm talking about when they start moving it. Who know? Say it again. In August. That's when you start shipping containers of here. We move Christmas stuff in August. Mind you, containers take 45 days to get here. That's right. So we moving it in August. When did they get it? When did they place the order for it? Shit was done probably in May. Because mm -hmm. nobody can afford to be behind. <laughs> you trying to start a business, you already behind. Goodness. That's how far ahead these people are. They can't be waiting for no Christmas shit Tell I order no November. <laughs> That's right. For fat on turkey, that eight chilling stroke. <laughs> I got to have my stuff already en route. That's right. August, it's on the ground. These are containers that already been loaded overseas that take 45 days to get here. Already on the ground. You moving these in August. <clears throat> I just throw that out though. A lot of stuff y'all trying to do. Y'all ain't got no drive to get behind and make it work. Y'all, listen, if you're going to get some seven, you're going to get something, you got to stay just with that and just stay at it and dedicate yourself to build it. Give yourself about three years. Two of them years, the first year or two, just go ahead and just don't even count it. Amen, You'll man. do good if you just get to break it even. That's get right. Get out your pocket. That's right. Get out your mind. So you can get rid of some of your debt and you can start seeing a profit. Yep. None of these people start all like that. Y'all see store go sit up and these people, these people ain't just started that. These folks do demographics. <clears throat> They put a Chipotle out here. This is the newest restaurant in Kane. You think the people just threw that damn thing out there? <laughs> That's all space. They did demographics. That's right. That's right. Look at how many other places were like that in this area. What's the demand? They look at the trap. How many people in a matter of hours ride down this street? By those numbers, they estimated if I can get a percentage, if I can get 5% out of the people that come down 138 in an hour. Mm -hmm. Small percent. Anything over that is extra. Yeah. Now, what demographic did you do before you started your shit? Mm -hmm. I just based it out of synagogue. These gonna be poor demographic. These free people here. Yeah. Anybody do a band in here, Clement? Don't count these people here. These gonna be, you ain't getting your money. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story you don't give any people. It ain't bad. They duck you. While you praying, they done already back the door. When you say all mine, they are, listen. They done squeeze through a lot though, getting out of the property. It's just bad. It's bad when you do it. What we need is people to be real and be honest with us. We're going to sell something to make something work. I tell you that, it can be done, but you just got to have enough people. None of these people start these one man band businesses out here. These people got a conglomerate of people that's working because you got a team. You need a team. A lot of times, y'all, I try to get <clears> stuff sell people. A lot of them, they drag ass a lot of him, but they're just being honest. I still try to put them and try to do it. It's a lot of drag ass him. Because you try to tell these people, you're going to be successful. You're going to need people and you're going to need money and you're going to need to set up team. You're trying to do one thing, one person, you're going to be partial. You're going to, in your judgment, you ain't going to pay attention when you fail. You're going to need people to help and it's going to take money. That one man show shit, it don't work out. I tell them all the time, even company, listen, Sprint had enough sense to go buy a Boost Mobile. Yeah. Company, they company merged. You know why? Because they start seeing the competition. Realize they're going to take me down on one person. Yeah. So they start merging with other companies so they can stay strong, so you can compete. Even banks merge. Bank of North Georgia got bought out by Sonova Bank. Cause they were too small. You can't keep. You gotta fight the Wells Fargo's, the Chase, and the Walk and the what is it? Wachovia? They ain't even Wachovia. What is this? Um, Wells Fargo. These are the people you gotta fight against. These are this a major. These are major <coughs> banks. These are big players. They can beat you out. They can buy you out. They can force you out. So these banks start learning. We got to merge. You can't make it by yourself. They're going to push you out. 
And y'all don't think like that. Y'all keep trying this one man shit, keep trying, keep going. Oh, this me, me, me and somebody as dumb as I am. Well, I just trying to help y'all out. But that was just, yeah, that was free. Don't worry about it. Just put it in your pocket. Some of y'all here can use, some you can't use. Don't even worry about it. So you gotta learn when to get out of stuff. Yeah. Just, man, that mean, I ain't in love with no being that guy. I walk away from it. <laughs> can't about none of that stuff. I done did too much. I've been doing it too long. Listen, the only thing that matters to me more than anything I do, this right here. That's right. This the only thing I can't walk away from. The rest of that shit, I don't care nothing about that stuff. It be all right. Anything I done done that before, if I done did it one time, I can do it two times. Yeah. That's how I look at it. I ain't afraid to lose. That's why I do it. A lot of y'all afraid to lose. And you can't make it out here. You scared money won't win. You gonna go out here and do it. That's why y'all to try to hold a job and try to do that. If you believe what you're doing, go all the way in it. Book yeah. said, whatever you find to do, he said, do it with all your might. That's right. He told me ain't no knowledge, no strength. He said, not in the grave where you going. Y'all didn't know that. That's right. That's book. That's the book. But y'all keep trying to straddle the fence because you don't believe. The people that's out here that really gets themselves that do you'll find out, they believe. Yeah. If you don't believe in yourself, don't expect me to. That's just being honest. Yeah. People that do it, they realize you got to go 100. That's right. Some people going to give you everything they got. You can't draw back on it, man. <clears throat> you're going to do it. You're going to be successful. You got to be willing to go out of the way, but y'all ain't too scared to do that. Don't worry about it. Leave it out here. That's what made the rest of us look better. Don't worry about it. All right, come on. I'll bring two on one so I can get better at what I'm talking about. Book right, though. Yes, May sir. May that help somebody out. I'll bring two and one. Listen to the book. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to what is it? The things which we have heard. Lest that any what? Time we should let them slip. For if what happened? The debar spoken by Malachi was steadfast. And if every transgression and disobedience do what? received a sadak re recompense of reward. How shall we escape? If we neglect so great salvation. Which at the what? First began to be spoken by the Adani. And was done what? Was confirmed unto us. By them that heard him. That's what I'm talking about right there. See that the 12th chapter of the book of Oriah. They call it Luke. <coughs> That's the truth. That's any one of us. And he said, therefore, we ought to get them, not just you now. Don't, don't put on just the members. Let me see 12 and by 39. Let's see what I want. I'm trying to get y'all out here in town so you can go outside and get a cold. I ain't never seen so many bald head jokers outside with no hat on in my life. <laughs> I had to put a hat on this thing around here. Now I got old. I was young. I used to go, man, I could go out there that thing. I wouldn't dare put a hat. Man, that line to be so straight. That had to be so black and wavy. <laughs> Couldn't put no hat on that thing, man. <laughs> Mess it up. Man, I don't want to try to look for no nigga with no hat on. <laughs> you know, she love niggas so cool, he don't even need a hat. Isn't that right? That's how you to do it. And one time I ain't wear, I ain't wear a shirt, I just wear a coat. I just had a coat on. Mm -hmm. Listen, fat, nice stomach too. I used to tell, <laughs> listen, listen, joke all built. I, I said, that nigga there, I said, look at him. I said, this ain't never him. This a Heineken. That's right. Low and brown. That's right. Crab legs. Yes, lobster sir. Lobster teeth. <laughs> How you tell him? I ain't covered up either. <laughs> I told us, I told us a dope man belly. <laughs> I was, man like that, they would, Keep going. I'm looking for the dope man belly. <laughs> That's right. That's and right. dope man belly. See, they know That's we don't right. eat. One thing they know, that nigga gonna eat. They be eat, thinking, they ain't cut up. They be thinking, that nigga might pull out some carry sticks or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Might have a dump now and do about 50 push up right quick. Dope man ain't gonna make you do all that. That's yeah, right. That's yeah, right. Ain't that right? Yeah, dope right. man, he gonna, he gonna ride. He gonna yeah, drink. Right. Gonna smoke. Yes, sir. Someone talking about, dope man, dope man. Stop it. <laughs> Listen to the book. And this no. That if the Ta'uf each of the house had known what hour the thief would come, what he would have did, he would have watched. What else would have happened? And not have suffered his house to be broken through. Listen. Be ye therefore ready also. Yeah. For the bin of each cometh at an hour when ye think not. Yes. Then Cuff said unto him, Adani, speakest thou this martially unto us or even to all? Yeah. And the Adani said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward? Yeah. Whom his Adani shall make ruler over his household? Yeah. To give them their portion. Of meat in due season. Yes. Barak is that servant whom his Adani, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Yes. Of an Amat I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. Mm -hmm. But and if that servant say in his heart, My Adani delayeth his coming. Yeah. And shall begin to beat the men's servants and maidens. Yeah. And to eat and drink and to be drunken. The Adani of that servant will come in a yum when he looketh not for him. That's right. 
and at an hour when he is not aware, yeah. and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Did y'all see that? That's the same thing. They ain't go with your preacher. We got to know how to deal, and got to know how to deal with people too. I just have been honest. It's been a while since Yahuwah was supposed to come back in. It's been a while. But I got to make sure I know how to deal with the people. Every one of us, we got to know how to do that. See, that position we got ain't just something that you just do at will or your own will or do it how you want to do. You got to be real wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to be real wise how to deal with people. I know sometimes people think I don't see. I see my members. I know my members. I know in here who in here who can take and who can stand what. I do, I do. Sometimes when you were kids, how, how, anyone of y'all, like the older parent used to leave you in charge, and you felt like you know what you were doing? You didn't. You weren't parent. <laughs> That's right. You just felt like you was. So you got to be wise when you're doing stuff. You got to know who can handle what and who can take what. Mm -hmm. A lot of time in our own mind, we'll feel like what people can take. Some people say, I think like pastor. You don't think like me. You just think you do. Yeah. You'll find a situation I might address on you say you see it that way. But it's a lot I had to consider when I do <clears> stuff. <throat> I do. I had to consider a person. Is this going to kill them or is it going to make them? Is this something they're going to be able to handle and going to help them? Or is this something they're going to just have to take it and it's going to make them? But you might try to do what I do and that thing, you know, you might kill somebody. Mm. You got to consider that. Let me tell you something. Parent, any parent ever left an older sibling in charge before? I don't know any of y'all old enough. You don't expect no child to do what you would do, do you? I wouldn't. If I left Bryce to do something and his brother and sister younger, I wouldn't expect him to do exactly everything I would do. I would expect him to use some wisdom realize he not me. I would expect <coughs> for him to just keep what I told him. I wouldn't expect him to try to go in their mind and try to operate do everything in the exact same because you'll wind up messing up something. Yeah. Because, see, a lot of times you're going to look at if any of y'all been the younger sibling and other older sibling kept you, you realize the same thing. You ain't my pastor. That's I'm sorry. Right. You ain't my, my brother, my mother, right. my dad. That's right. <clears throat> Therefore, I'm not going to receive your correction the same way. Mm -hmm. And that's right. And you'll get more fight than you're going to get help. That's right. That's so right. I talk to get to people. People might say, well, you know that, but you ain't me. When people tell me they know I got a whole lot, they know I got to stay. And I tell y'all what I got to tell you. You know what I meant. And you know I love you. And I tell you if I love you. Remember, y'all know if I tell you I love you, don't I? Mm -hmm. They know it. And I cut you down, too. So it got to be fair on both ends. I know when a person, what a person needs. I know what a person got to take, and that's something I got to be able to live with. Because if I made the wrong decision, I look at That's something I got to be able to receive. I got to be able to take that. You go and you give somebody too much, you kill somebody, you got to give account for that. So Y'all all right? Yes, sir. That's just being honest. Just being <clears> what <throat> these people call a preacher, pastor, ain't just easy what y'all think. You got to consider when you're giving out punishment, you're giving out retribution to people, you getting out rebuke to people. There's people's souls you're dealing with. You deal with a person the wrong way, you can discourage a person out so much, people won't even recover. And you got to give an account for that. That's what the book tell us. We didn't have a strong, or the better infirmities, or the who was it? We. And who that again we weren't supposed to plead? Because you know what? Because you know the Mashiach did the same thing. Yes, sir. He did the same thing. He knew how much we could take. Think of what the man could told us when he came down here. Who would have been able to stand to take any of what that man could have really just gave? But the man knew exactly what he was doing. He knew what the people could take. That's right. He knew when the people <clears> knew to <throat> know already, identify their sin at the same time, knew how to show them love, how to get us away from it. Huh? Nobody going to come to nobody just keep beating on them, hitting on them. Nobody want to hear cut down, cut down every time. Y'all hear? That's the same thing he was trying to tell us here. He said he had determined when he came to see the people, he said he decided when I come to you, you know what? I don't want to come to y'all as heavy as I was. Right. You know, it's amazing when people we wind up doing most celebrated in the That's right. Now. That's right. Because you know, I look at, I look to receive joy when I come from y'all, God. I think it's Shusha, if I'm correct now. But the whole thing become, now, if I'm looking to receive joy from y'all, how am I going to get it if I don't beat you now? Mm. Unless I get joy out of just destroying people. Isn't that right? He said, if I make you sorry, then who is he that making me glad? But the same people that I made sorry with what I done came along, what I told them. So we got to have some balance. Y'all know that? It's got to be balance. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. It don't take nothing to treat folk right that do you wrong. It, or you feel like they wronged you. It takes something to treat folk right when you know they wrong you, but you know you're honest and you know you're fair at what you're doing. That's right. That's right. That's just being honest. There's something a lot of times we might not think about. We had to consider them. Let's look at that 18th chapter book of Matthew, 18 and 18. Yeah. 
I remember my former pastor used to tell me when he <coughs> told me, he said, he said, I wasn't going to make no good pastor. He said, no. He said, I was too hard on people. <laughs> he said, man, you wind up running people off. He said, you just too hard on them. You don't give the people a chance. You know, I'm like, no, some stuff. And some stuff, I still, I learned to understand better what he was trying to tell me. Some stuff, he was just soft on crime because he was a criminal. <laughs> but some things he would tell me, he was right, though. When you get in position, you see a little different how to deal with people. Some people might have a mind, I think you ought to do, I think you ought to do. Same way a child will feel like with another child. But you know what, that's not your child, though. That's right. When it ain't your child, people say, oh, man, that, you know what, you ought to take that child out there and beat the hell out of him. You say, you say that simply because it ain't your child. That's right. That's right. If it was your child, I want to see you go beat the hell out of yours. Right. I remember my, uh, my mother was talking about her sisters would say what she should, what she should have did, how she should have cut me off in different things years ago, how it was. People even said, one of them son turned, he nothing but a sack of shit. <laughs> she didn't cut him off. Right. Right. They come out one time, he'll cover for me everything she could. But they sure want to give her the advice of cutting me off. And I wind up <laughs> turn out, and I'm her raw now. Yeah. And she That's still owe me $5. <laughs> That's just how people will see things. But do you know what? Even the book will tell her, don't judge nothing before the time until you right. come. That's right. A lot of time for y'all cut people off and let people go. You better consider yourself. Let's see what happened in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 18. Listen to the book. Verily, I say unto you, yeah. whatsoever ye shall bind on a rock yeah. shall be bound in Shamayim. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever ye shall loose on a rock. That's 1818 or 1618? 1818. Okay, listen. Shall be loosed in Shamayim. Yeah. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on a rock as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Abba, mm -hmm. which is in Shamayim. Yeah. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Come on. Then came Cuff to him and said, Adonai, how oft shall my Aki sin against me, mm -hmm. and I forgive him? Till seven times, Yahusha saith unto him, I say, I say not unto thee until seven times. But what? But until 70, until 70 times seven. See that? And we work so hard to go out here and forgive these white folk. We don't have that mindset with each other. Yep. That's right. You know, Mike told me that one years ago. He said, you know what, preacher? I give you seven times to mess up. That's the perfect number we've got. <laughs> I give you seven times. I said, Mike, that ain't in the book. He said, what? <laughs> I don't know where Mike got that from. I said, Mike, you ain't got no business giving me no time to mess up. That's right. Ain't got no business. But that's something we learn with maturity. Sometimes people look and say, well, Pastor Pat, let me tell you something. I have made mistakes. Mistakes have been made in my life. You grow, you learn, you mature, you get better. Y'all got it? I ain't adultery or smoking or cheating, but I made mistakes before in my life. We all have. Don't let people sit around and just tell y'all no lies and make no fool out of you. But you learn how to make perfection from your mistakes. You don't learn how to sit and wallow in them and find the excuses in them and find a reason to go back to them or find a reason to quit and stop and sit on your ass and don't get up and perform. That's the difference. That's the difference. That's why a lot of y'all look, you look, and you wind up making, once you mature, you get to a point you don't start making them same stupid mistakes. You start to look and you start to look at things that pull you or get you off or get you to consider you learn to do better. That's the whole purpose of why we're here. Don't let these people try to make no fool out of y'all. Everybody here, he puts you on a certain place for a reason. You're here for a reason, so you can get better. What you don't do is you don't go back and repeat the same mistakes. That's the difference. You don't use them for an excuse. You don't use them for a cloak and for a covering to get out of nothing. You don't get say, oh, I know I was going to hell anyway, so it don't make no difference. I got a lot of quitters in him. <clears throat> I got a lot of folk that quit. They'll find a reason to try to quit. It takes something to stand. Yes, sir. It do. It takes something to stand. That's right. Don't nobody make no fool out of you. I'm standing. Standing. That's just man, I'm standing. That's right. I ain't looking for no reason to try to get out of my job. I don't even reason to stand in my job. That's right. There's some people in life I never forgive you for I did some stuff. I had a cousin, he dead. Now he the whole stuff, man. His ass out of here now, though. Mm -hmm. He out of here. I sent some chicken to a funeral. <laughs> but I'm standing. That's right. These people hold stuff over your head. You try to fight <clears throat> everything people got in their mind about you here. You fighting a losing battle. That is, you just learn to get perfected with what you got. That's right. I was talking to somebody, I was telling about a man like Dawood. You know the book said he was out of his own heart? Yes, sir. Out of your own heart. 
but he still looked down and looked at another man's wife. Mm -hmm. Committed adultery with it and got her pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know the book said he never turned from one thing you who ever told him? Saving that one matter. Who gonna go and condemn him? Who gonna go and condemn him? That's tight. He didn't just look, he slept with her. Didn't just sleep with her, he got her pregnant. Didn't just get her pregnant, he got her husband killed. The book get credit, so that's the only thing he ever did. Now anybody gonna condemn him, just tell me the one thing you only did. Or the no thing you ever did. That's what I thought. So you get ready to start killing people, you better consider. But it kept him in perfection. What you think a man like that'll do? When he consider he was walking right and he done found himself in one situation and he tried to cover up the situation. And before you know it, you done got in there, you done murdered somebody. The situation started one way and done went a whole nother way. Before you know it, you done got yourself in a hole what they call a shit storm. Surely he shouldn't be saved. Should he? Should he? Yahuwah was gracious to him, though. I wouldn't be the man to step in and condemn him. Yahuwah said he was a man out of his own heart. Hmm? Y'all all right? I guess, I don't know, man. We're in some bad situation times. I don't know. This is what I look at. When things happen, do you have a mind to get away from what you're doing or you got a mind to continue what you're doing? That's the difference. Where's your mind at? Do you get a mind to get away from what you've done wrong or you got a mind to try to get a reason to get back to what you've been doing wrong? Hmm? What, you, what is it? What y'all want to do? Are y'all realists or y'all like to sit around and pretend? Hello? Well, we just being real, right? The people that came before, those people did. Some did make mistakes. But from them, they made perfect. Do you take the mistakes you made and you use them to get you in a state to where you can become perfect? You know how a person become a perfect three-point shooter? He does a lot of missing. He does a lot of repositioning. Hmm? He does a lot of winning and considering. That's a lot of time put in to do that. It's a lot of work. Anything you're going to get to be perfect is a lot of work. Get a person that get all A's and pass test. They've done a lot of work. They put a lot of time. That's what we got to do. If we're going to make perfect folk, you're going to put a lot of time in. But a lot of time, the things that we love in the world, we put time in. When it comes down to this, the thing, this, is, this is something a lot of us don't consider. You who don't have a problem with you having the things you desire, the things you want. Only thing he wants you to do is don't desire those things more than him. That's what I use to keep myself in line. When you tend to lean and look to something too much, it's going to tend to take a lot away from you. It's going to take a lot away from him. You got somebody that looks to be centered in what you do. So as you work and you're doing things, the only problem he has, if I call, you need to answer. If I say break away, you need to stop. Otherwise, you set yourself up for a fall. That's what I look to do. I don't try to get myself into too much, and when he calls, I can't stop. I try to keep myself where I keep him center, where I know exactly where I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to be going. Y'all got me? I know exactly how much love and time I can give to things. A lot of times, y'all get to doing stuff and you don't want too much, you learn to get enough. When I do stuff a little different, y'all, and I do it, I kind of can sit on some stuff I do. I say, hey, we do something, let's do it, and we do it, I'll do it if the people can eat from it. Who in here know I'm telling the truth? I say the people can eat from it, because I tend to look at if it's anybody he loves, he loves his people. See, a smart being a man is smart. I just use it to work with him. I know how he feel about his people. So if I do something and his people can eat from it, why wouldn't he help me do it? I do it because it's some shit I just want to do. That's the kind of shitty person I am like that. I ain't going to go but so far. Or he'll let me go because it's going to be a snare to me. I need you to go. I need you to make it. I need you to get way out there because that's what I'm going to cut you off at. That's why I try to tell y'all I do a lot of individual stuff. I just like to be all to myself. Like, yeah, who should resort out to himself sometimes? But he was more with the people than he would by himself. Yeah, yeah. Just being honest, I mean, that, the book told us not forsaking the similar ourselves together. As the man of some is, and so much the more we see the human approaching. There have been a time we're going to need to unify and fortify it now. Time approaching. 
Let me tell you about him. You made a mistake. You can't let these people hold nothing to keep you back from doing what you got to do. Shit, all of them made some mistakes. Everybody's mistake might not be that big to them, but all of it big to Yahuwah. Yeah. He don't look at no little lie no more. He look at no big adultery. He ain't got no little lie, big adultery, little theft, and big murder. He's all of the same to me. That's why we're here. We're trying to work to get to perfection. Huh? Y'all all right. Then you try to use people in hypocrite. Yeah, people going to hypocrite. They don't pull to stop you in what you supposed to be doing. I tell y'all, help me get the countdown. Don't you hypocrite. That's how we're going to get it down. I can't get no less than Yahushua had. Yahushua had 12 of them. Hey, you figure one out of every 12 was a devil. He had 12. 11 of them were good. So you got to figure, look at his averages. And I'm expecting to get all these people here that ain't going to have no hypocrite. He had 12, and one of them was a hypocrite. How y'all expect me to get everybody and everybody to be right? I, everybody to be right. So I'm to have better numbers than him? <laughs> Some of y'all here got me hypocrite and fall pretend. But you know what? I still love you. I still treat every member right. I still help people. Because I was supposed to do. If he was able to do, listen, when he sat down to break bread, then you know what? He didn't tell um, Yehuda he wasn't going to give him no bread. He fed him too. When he sent them out to work miracles, you know what he did? He gave him power too. You go ahead too. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Where you set your heart at? See, a lot of times y'all look at people, y'all the whole stuff. I watch people in here kill out. People don't look at it. They'll come in there and kill other people out. I don't watch the whole lot of y'all. I just sit back and just watch y'all. Sometimes y'all do stuff and y'all don't consider stuff. Y'all ought to consider. A lot of y'all, if it weren't for a position doing stuff, it's like y'all here by strip child here now. Hell, you'll kill out. A lot of people's positions hold them. They will. Y'all be surprised, man. A lot of people in one position, they won't be able to stand. A lot of people went. They get them their strength. Your strength probably be in the Dabarine. If I don't preach another Dabarine, I probably be standing because the Dabarine got me standing. Y'all all right? This is everybody. Don't let no position. Position don't, position change. People get moved out of position. Don't let that be your source and be your salvation. People will sit around. People quit and they start being connected to something. Listen, I met right here and died tonight. Out of chain of the guard coming, Jones or, or, or Adam, one of them took that thing, or Malcolm took it on. Man, y'all see my family probably fade back. You probably say they won't. Drum probably like this. Dum. Dum. Because it's different when your daddy passed versus somebody else. Why it won't probably be in there serving like that? She probably serve every now and then. Why well, you don't want to be in nobody way? I want to cook shit. And we, a lot of folks, y'all be surprised. It's just being honest. People don't, man, let me tell y'all something. I'll be real with y'all, help y'all out. Even people, well, I'll be real with y'all. A lot of people, let me tell you something. Y'all don't want people want position. Best thing you want to do is learn how to stand sitting in them pews. Yeah, right. I, took, I, I didn't get faithful when I became no minister. I was faithful before I even got to the ministry. Yeah, right. then, this didn't make me faithful. I was already faithful. That's why man picked me. I was already faithful. A lot of people get faithful. You pick them or choose them for something or give them something to do. Man, I was already faithful. Y'all hear me? Ain't nobody had to beat no drum to tap me up. I was already set. I was already set. It, it clicked for me. I, already knew. I was already faithful. When I heard the man say they had to come from somewhere, I was already set. I had to be talking to me. I already had my mind to be faithful. Folks try to say, man, I won't want to be nobody. Them old tired ass niggas. Yeah, man. Man, you be a, man, you had to be a fool. Every one of them bastards are preaching now. Couldn't wait to get in the damn ministry. And I made a damn mess too. Listen, both of them made a damn mess. I'm still here. <laughs> Y'all hear me? That is true. I ain't never said that with him. I was like, I didn't never see it being nothing like that. I just let that man saw fit and put you in the ministry, they'd be faithful. Y'all hear me? I ain't putting no position. I want to lay down and just stop and do it. I love what I do. People going to hold stuff against you. That people. I listen. You can't fight with people. That's up to them. Y'all hear me? It's just up to you to just make sure you don't feel whatever they say they're saying about you. You got to make it true or not. They say, Pastor, me here, homosexual. Hell, I ain't worried about that. I know what I am. Bring your mama over there. I sure. <laughs> they take that how they want to take it. I might let your mama see something. Mama come out and said, no, nah, he ain't no homosexual. <laughs> Get in there, you about to hit your dad and tell him, why you don't use that silly fan? I don't worry about these people. Let me tell you something. People are going to talk about you all they want to. All you got to do is do what you're supposed to do. 
That's everybody here. Y'all let folk get y'all so down. If you honest in your heart and you doing what you supposed to do, you can't be worried about what other folk doing. That don't make you feel good sometimes. No, it don't make me feel good to hear what folks say. Especially when that folk lying on you. Oh, you just like, at least tell the damn truth. But that's your people at the end of the day. What you going to do? Let me see something right quick. People in that 16th chapter of the book of uh, Shamuwal. What, Shani Shamuwal? They're going to call it 2 Samuel 16. I don't know. What is it, about 16 or 7? Let me see something. No. Oh, interesting. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Might be Yahoo 27. Eh. 38, let's see. Listen to the book. Shani Shamuwal, 16 and 7. I'm going to get ready to let y'all out in a minute. Oh, yeah, I got a couple. I got a couple, man. We'll get y'all out of here. <clears throat> We're going to call it Keep It Real. Keep It Real and Keep It Honest. You ain't got to let, listen, man, y'all y'all get yourself up. Make it, got to stand. I look at it, man, folk count on me. Mm-hmm. You know, all those people that came before us, none of those people had any idea when they went through that they were doing it for us. No, ain't nobody going through thinking about nobody else. When you going through, why would you? Why would you think? When you going through, the only person you think about is yourself, how you feeling, what you got to deal with, how people looking at you, what people saying, and how you going to overcome it. That's just human nature. We all actors on the stage. Everything you're doing is being played out. That's what you're doing. You're playing out something. You're playing out because it's going to be a scenario for somebody else. Somebody else coming through behind you Gonna have to deal with the same similar thing you're dealing with. At some point in your time, in your life, in your time span, you'll run into or see, or your life will come back up before somebody to be a witness. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm still here. I'm still standing. Somebody look for a reason to stop, a reason to quit. I give me a reason to keep going. That's right. I said, man, honey, that's why I'm here. That's why I do what I'm doing. It ain't for me, cause somebody come behind me gonna be looking. That's right. Somebody watching. Somebody looking for somebody to stand without compromising and making excuses. Hmm? Somebody looking for a pattern for a man. That's right. Somebody else. That's right. Might not be everybody. Somebody looking. Somebody looking. And somebody looking. My life, I ain't standing for me. I'm standing because somebody come out. We all standing, y'all do y'all job. <clears throat> it ain't for you. It's somebody watching. That's right. That's right. For all y'all quitters and stoppers and excuse makers, somebody watching you too. And you help make more of them. But the people that are going to be saved, they got their mindset. They're going to follow. They're going to watch and see. He ain't making no excuses. He ain't wavering. He ain't compromising. Standing flat foot and telling the people the truth. Keep a consistency. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. All right. Listen to the book. And thus said Shammai when he cursed, come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Bilal. What happened? Yahuwah hath returned well, upon What would you thee. call a man? You know a man of Bilal, that's a person that just worked. Just told me he's worthless. Mm -hmm. Worthless. You worthless little man, you. Talk to him. Yahuwah hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Shaul. What happened? In whose stead thou hast reigned. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah hath delivered the Malkuth into the hand of Absalom thy bent. Listen. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief See, because thou art a bloody man. Y'all hear that? You think, what y'all think thou would think right now? You do know that man wasn't lying to him. This man had a lot to come on him. Yeah. Uh, Shaul, who they're going to call Saul, was actually the Malak of Yasharal. That's right. That's who stayed, who place Dao had taken. And they were at war with one another. And Dao was definitely a man who would kill you. He'll definitely kill you. There's no mistake about it. He'll kill you. And this man looked at him. He had a lot to happen to him. The man done laid with Uriah's wife and got her pregnant. Then on top of it, covered up, he got the man killed. You don't ever forget your stuff. Then he had a child. The child was so sick, the child died. So a lot of them went on. Then you got somebody to start coming up and just tell you you were worthless. Now, everything you done done is coming back on you. Now, his own being, his own son trying to kill him. 
His own son trying to take the Malkut from him. Absalom is trying to take it from him. You got to, at some point in your mind, think, I done did a lot of stuff. Yeah. I done did a lot of stuff. And now it might all just be coming back on me now. And then somebody come back to you, because you don't ever forget what you've done. You don't ever forget it. Not if you're honey. You don't, I don't never forget stuff I've done. I ain't that's right. Man, I forgot that's a lie from hell. You, and then somebody come back and start bringing back stuff to your mind. And you got to start at this point thinking about, I have done a lot of stuff. I've done a lot of stuff. And this man come along and they don't call me a worthless man. Now all this coming, even your own son trying to come back up because of all the stuff you've done. What happened? Then said Abishai, the Ben of Zariah, yeah. unto the Malak. What is saying? Why should this dead dog curse my Adonai, the Malak? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, son. Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. L listen, I'll cut that bastard throat right now for you. Talking like that to you? Listen. And the Malak said. What is he saying? What have I to do with you? Ye beni of Zariah. Yeah. So let him curse, because Yahuwah hath said unto him, Curse Daoud. What happened? Who shall say then, Wherefore hast thou done so? Listen. And Daoud said to Abishai and to all his servants, what? Behold, my Ben, which came forth of my bowels, yeah. seeketh my life. What happened? How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Listen. Let him alone, and let him curse, for Yahuwah hath bidden him. Come on. It may be that Yahuwah will look upon mine affliction, yeah. and that Yahuwah will requite me, Ta'u, for his cursing this yun. That's good. That's wisdom. That's wisdom. They <coughs> considering. If that person cursing me or come at me, Yahuwah don't allow him to do this. Yeah. And he considering. That's a lot I could have done, and it could change it and turn it to another way. But it may be Yahuwah done had it, might look on my affliction. He might turn around and barack me behind this. So he just decides your holy peace. That's beautiful. Let's look at something right quick. At the book of Exodus, Apostle, chapter 8, verse 30. Exodus, Apostle, chapter 8, verse 30. Other one. Get me uh, Matayahu, chapter 37, I'm sorry, 27, and by verse 38. Listen to the book. And Philip ran thither to him. And heard him read the Nabah Yeshayahu and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Yeah. And he said, How can I, except some each, should guide me? Listen. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Mm -hmm. And the place of the scripture which he read was this. What was it? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a what? As a ant, like a lamb dumb before his shears. So what? Open he not his mouth. Tell him what happened. In his humiliation. What happened? His judgment was taken away. And tell him what happened. And who shall declare his tuladon. Yeah. For his life is taken from the rots. That's good. Let's see what happened. Over here. My fact, finish a little bit more of that before I get over. Listen. And, and the eunuch answered Philip and said, I palaw thee, of whom speaketh the Nabah this? Yeah. Of himself oh. or of some other ish. That's good. Matayahu chapter 27 at verse 38. <clears throat> Listen to the book. Then were there two thieves crucified with him. Listen. One on the right hand and another on the left. What happened? And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads. What happened? And saying, <clears throat> thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three Yamin, mm -hmm. save thyself. Listen. If thou be the Ben of Allahim, come down from the two. And? Likewise also the Rosh Kohanim mocking him. Yeah. With the scribes and elders said, he saved others, himself he cannot save. What happened? If he be the Malak of Yasharal, let him now come down from the two, and we will believe him. <coughs> what happened? He trusted in Allahim. Yeah. Let him deliver him now, if he will have him. Well, listen, what else For happened? he said, I am the Ben of Allahim. Listen. The thieves also, which were crucified with him. What did they do? Cast the same in his teeth. That's good. That's good. Y'all got it? This was about Yahushua. When Dao was going about and he was on his chariot, he didn't come down. He stayed on his chariot. When you heard he was cursing, you got to hear a little bit what was going on. He wouldn't come down, nor would he answer him. That's why Yahushua went. He would lead you like a sheep to a slaughter, mm. and like a lamb dumb before his shield. That's why he didn't reply. Dao never would answer the boy. <clears throat> he never answered him. He just ignored him. And in his humiliation, y'all ain't gonna believe what happened. Because he could have told him to kill him. Yeah. 
He said it might be that Yahuwah might look on my, what was it? What do we say the difference between suffering and affliction? Did he say that Yahuwah was going to look on his suffering? He said Yahuwah was going to look on his affliction. Come my judgment had been taken away. The man asked him, let me go down right now. I cut his damn head off his shoulder. Leave him alone. He had to take that. But you think that he realized that he was taking that because he was setting a pattern for his son that would come behind him? <clears throat> Who had to sit here and take this? Who had to suffer? Because he saw the affliction of his opera that came before him. He had to sit here and take this. That man cast stones at Daoud. Yeah. They were hearing insults at him. He had to sit there and take it. You ain't going to believe why. It may be Yahuwah might look on his affliction and he might barack him. Mm. That's how he got his baraka. Yeah. Listen, what he used for a strategy to combat his enemy were the people that came before him. That's all he did. All these people were patterns. These were patterns for him to mark, for him to mimic in duration. That's the same thing happened for us. All these things we were written, what's ever written the fourth time, written for what was again? That we through patient comfort of what? Might have what? Yahuwah baraka him. He baraka Daoud. Well, why wouldn't he do the same for you? <clears throat> when people start hurling insults at you, when people start coming at you, when people start trying to bring your past or when you know you got a better future. See, where we wind up coming up short, we don't trust the scripture enough to say, surely he'll do the same for me. Let's look at something right here. Uh, Yaakov chapter 5, verse 6. That's what I want. Yaakov, they'll call it James. Yaakov. See if it's five and four. Let me say what I want. Y'all all right? I know we don't say it a lot. A lot to consider. I only think at the end of the day, let's make sure we make it in. I don't let my past determine my future. I use my past to make sure, my past to make sure I got a better <coughs> path so I can get myself a better future. Y'all hear me? Okay. Listen to the book. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, yeah, done what? which is of you kept back by fraud, yeah. crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Adani of Saboth. I could teach y'all about that too, but right now we got to go. Come on, listen. Ye have lived in pleasure on the Arats, mm -hmm. and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts, as in a yum of slaughter, yeah. ye have condemned and killed the Sadat, mm -hmm. and he doth not resist you. Yeah. Be patient, therefore, I key. See that? That's amazing. Bahu did the same thing, didn't he? Yes, sir. He didn't even resist him. Sometimes you can kill people with your mouth. You'd be surprised what you can do with your mouth. Listen. Be patient, therefore, I key, unto the coming of the Adani. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the Arats. That makes sense for us. That's the only thing he's going to understand. <coughs> you're going to tell me to be patient with on Yahuwah. What am I going to use for a comparison? Farming. Being a farmer. What a husband can do when he put the seed in the ground? He got to wait. He already understands time and seed. That's why you'll find the fifth chapter of the book of Thessalonians. He told her of the time and season. All the people I can talk to like that, people who are going to understand the Yari, the Shamash, because you understand time and seasons. You understand day, what they call days and months. So you know perfectly well that when you do a work and you put it in the ground, it don't come right up. Sorry, you put a seed in the ground. Does it sprout up immediately? Well, why am I looking to do a good work and automatically looking to receive from it? I'm a husband. I already know when I plant good seed and I put it in the ground. If I've done what I'm supposed to do, then he's going to nourish that seed. It's going to come back to me. It ain't got to come today. But I know in due, si in due seed, the book says I'll reap if I faint not. But we'll wind up fainting sometimes. We think so. We put a seed in the ground. We're supposed to get something up. We husbandmen. We understand that then, don't we? So when it's talking about waiting on Yahushua, the only way it makes sense for me is to understand what our culture is. We're farmers. Well, they say for we're husbandmen. Got to be husbandmen because the husband put the seed in the, in the That's woman. That's right. 
It's going to make sense. They'll say, see, of course, they're going to use farm. And we don't have one farm. You don't have to be lonely. Hey, them folks all like that dating and shit. They ain't playing nothing. <laughs> they on them damn free website. Husband, he do that. He putting seed in the ground. That's right. That's what a husband is going to do. So we understand the protocol. So when you plant a seed, does it come up today? <clears throat> then why do we think when we do a good work, automatically we're supposed to get something then? That's the way the sinners think. That's right. Because they don't understand time and season. You keep planting, you keep planting, you doing what you're supposed to do, and do seed, they're going to come up. All right, listen to the book. And have long patience for it until he received the, the early and latter rain. See that? That's, what, that's part of our covenant, right? The first and the latter rain. That prove itself out for us, don't it? For the beginning of our time coming in, for the beginning of our year, we get the first rain, then we get the latter rain. That's part of our covenant. Because we're husband. Because now, we never paid attention to that because we weren't um, taught about, from our religious standpoint, about keeping the feast or the muhadis. So none is made in the city. But now we can watch him doing what he told us. I cause it to rain. I'm going to give you that ma'in in the first and the latter because y'all know what you do. That's the same thing we look for now. He's going to give us what he said he's going to give us. We just got to trust him. Listen. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the outer need draws nigh. Listen. Grudge not one against another. Yeah. I key lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Yeah. Take my I key, the nabain, who have spoken in the name of the Adonai, mm -hmm. for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happily which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Eub, and have seen the end of the Adonai. See that? We seen it. He said, you have heard of it, and you've seen the end of it. Listen. That the Adonai is very pitiful yeah. and of tender mercy. But above all things, my Aki, swear not, neither by Shamayim, neither by the Arats, yeah. neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay, and your nay, nay, that she fall into condemnation. Come on. Is any among you afflicted? Do what? Let him prolong. Listen. Is any merry? Let him sing song, Tahalim. See that? Let, pre, let pastor do it? Let him sing Tahalim. You know what I'm saying? You being afflicted, you going through, you supposed to know how to prolong. That's what Yahushua was doing on the two. <clears throat> he knew how to pull out. That's what you're going to do. Y'all got to learn where to make your argument, where you're going to get the best results from. Trying to dispute your end with Ish or with Anashim, you wasting time. Give it to him. Listen. Is any sick among you? Do what? Let him call for the... Yeah, I forgot the name. Go Zakan. ahead. Elders Z of the assembly. Z-A-Q-A-N. I think it's pronounced like Zakan. For the elders, older woman, older man. Uh huh. Let him call for the Zakan of the assembly yeah. and let them pull all over him. Yeah. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Adonai. Bless him. And the pull of the faith shall save the sick. Uh -huh. And the Adonai shall raise him up. Bless him. And if he have committed sins, what happened? they shall be forgiven him. Look at that. Come on. Confess your faults one to another. That's why we're here. A lot of times y'all don't do that. That's what the book told. I can get y'all up. That's why I tell y'all to confess. A lot of times people run through the book, do what they want to do. The man told us confess our father. One, you ain't got no bed. Y'all go confessing these folks, these son of folks out here in the street. Yep. And told us to confess our faults one to another. That's right. Come on. And Palaw one for another. And, and that's what I'll be doing. What they're gonna call praying for one another. Come on. That ye may be he healed. The Effectual, fervent palal of the Sadiq Ish availeth much. Listen. All Yahoo was an Ish subject to light passions. Y'all hear that? Subject to the same thing we were. And what happened? As we are. As just like us. And he palal earnestly you that it might not rain. a serious state of mind. Sometimes you want to know why you don't get no result. What, what's your mindset? Is it in doubt? Is it in disbelief? And you do it anyway, and the book told you whatsoever <coughs> not of faith is sin. Right. If he was just like us, subject to the same hates and likes and dislikes, just like us, yet when the man was earnest and he prayed, what did Yahuwah do? And he plowed earnestly that it might not rain, and he it rained rain not. When he, when, he, when he prayed at the first, plowed at the first, 
it didn't rain for the space of three years and six months. And what else happened? And it rained not on the Arats by the space of three years and six yards. What happened? And he pulled again, and the Shamayin gave rain. Yeah. And the Arats brought forth her fruit. Yeah. I key, if any of you do err from the Amat, and one convert him. What happened? Let him know that he which converteth the sinner the what? from the error of his way the what? shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Meaning somebody was going to get off. That's why we're in here. So if I can convert you, I can save your soul alive and we can cover up a multitude of sins. That's right. That's the whole purpose of why we're here. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, some people are going to make mistakes. <clears throat> Sin. Some people are going to come short. Our goal is for everybody to make perfect. That's right. It makes no sense to write this letter if it wasn't going to happen. That's right. At all of your two and one. Verse 13. First John. Well, I, I use a card. A card. First. Two and one. Listen to the book. My little Beni, these things write I unto you. What happened? That ye sin not. Y'all hear that? <clears throat> Listen. And if any ye sin, we have an advocate with the Abba, Yahushua Hamashiach, the Sadiq. And he is the propitiation for our sins, uh -huh. and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole Arats. Yeah. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. Listen what he told us. He that saith, I know him. And of what? And keepeth not his commandments. Is a who? A liar. And? The Amat is not in him. Listen. But whoso keepeth his debar. Yeah. In him verily is the love of Allahim perfected. So that's what, so what we need to do if we're going to get this sin out of us. Keep the law. Keep the law. Whole prayer when he wrote this letter, he said he wrote this letter so nobody wouldn't sin. He said, that's why I wrote it, so y'all wouldn't sin. But if somebody did, he won't let them know that we had an advocate. Perpetuation, which is the gain or the regain. <coughs> to the Gentile, it should be the gain. Or to a sinner, to a person that already had him, he would be the regain. Simply because how they use the R-E. But then if you retard it, that means you've been taught it before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's based on English. Right. If you return, you've been there before. If you remember, you knew it before. Right. So if you retard it, then you've been taught it before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't that make sense? And that would be 350,000 shatoshis. <laughs> <laughs> which equals up to 17 cents. I don't know what I said. <laughs> I don't know who I said it to, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but that's what I want to try to get our mindset on. We're not trying to get any of us to have license or permission to commit sin, but just know that the letter was written because there are going to be people and there's going to be issues. There are going to be transgressions going to come up, but we use the scripture to bet ourselves. When he told us any man sin, he said we have an advocate. Somebody that fights in the favor of it. Who is the perpetuation? Who is the gain? Who is the regain? That's why you're looking at it. We said regain is somebody that had it. They lost it, right? <coughs> he talked about it in your code. But if a man had error from their way, let him that know that convert, that turns them back. Convert, and you're putting it back. Y'all all right? You putting a sinner back to a sinner? Are you putting somebody that wanted something that committed sin back to a state where they didn't commit sin? Hello? Putting them back to a state that they were in before the sin. Then he talks about covering up a multitude of sin. That's probably the reason why you'll find Yahushua was buried. The man became sin. Yeah. We talked about covering up, right? Yeah. I don't know what we're doing. Are we all right here tonight? So what are, we, what are we going to use to keep us from committing sin? The law, exactly. 
So now we're going to look at what did the law teach us. When we come back to look at what did the law teach us, then we get to, and we start remembering that. Now we start looking at perfecting the behavior. Because now when we do something, we should consider the law. What did the law teach us? What does the law state? That's when they came to Yahushua, they kept asking him about the law. Y'all got it? Now, a person can take the law and twist it to their own dynamics <clears throat> and use it for their own substance or however they want to work it. But our goal is to use it for the way he permitted to be used, to keep us from committing sin and know how we're supposed to do it with one another. Y'all all right? I don't know. I don't know. A little different at night. But considering. Let's look at something. Uh, let me quit. See if that's the 13th, no, 15th chapter, Acts of the Apostles. 15. I don't know. See if it's 15, 15. Listen to the book. And to this agree the Dabarim of the Nabaim, as it is written, after this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of Daud, yeah. which is fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, mm -hmm. and will set it up, that the residue of Anashim might seek after the Adani, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, saith oh. the Adani, who doth all these things, mm -hmm. known unto Allahim, are all his works from the beginning of their rots. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to Elohim, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. For Mashah of old time hath in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogue every Shabbat Yom. Mm -hmm. Then pleased it the apostles and, el and elders with the whole congregation to send chosen, chosen on a shame of their own company to Antioch with Shaul and Barnabas, namely Yehuda surnamed Barnabas and Silas, chief on a shame among the Aki. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders in Aki send greeting unto the Aki which are of the Gentiles in Antioch, yeah. in Syria, and Cilicia. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with Dabarim, subverting your soul, saying, ye must be circumcised mm -hmm. and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. Yeah. It seemed Taub unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen Anashim unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Shaul, Anashim that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Adonai, Yahusha, HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. We have sent, therefore, Yehuda and Silas, who shall also tell you the same thing by mouth. Yeah. For it seemed Taub to the Ruach HaKadosh and to us to lay up on you no greater burden than these necessary things. He saw they did that. They sent the letters and they sent the key. <coughs> Three witnesses. Listen. That ye abstain from meats offered to idols, Man. and from blood, uh -huh. and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well, yeah. fare ye well. So when they were dismissed, they came to Antioch, and when they had gathered the multitude together, they delivered the epistle, which when they had read, they rejoiced for the consolation. And Yehuda and Silas, being Nabaim, also themselves, exhorted the Aki with many Dabarim, and confirmed them. And after they had tarried there a space, they were let go in, in Shalom from the Aki unto the apostles. Yeah. Notwithstanding, it pleased Silas to abide there still. Yeah. Shaul also and Barnabas continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching the Dabar of the Adani with many others also. And some Yamim after Shaul said unto Barnabas, let us go again and visit our Aki in every city yeah. where, where we have preached the Debar of the Adani wow. and see how they do. Yeah. And Barnabas determined to take with him Yaukanan, whose surname was Mark. Mm -hmm. But Shaul thought not Taub to take him with them, wow. who departed from them 
from Pamphylia and went not with them to the work. Wow. And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from the other. Two, two saved people, hot and mad <coughs> with each other. Two saved people with Ruah HaKadah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen two saved people fight. <coughs> I ain't never seen two saved people argue. But just said the contention was so hot between them, it got to be so much that they wound up departing from one another. You know, they said something wrong when two saved people can't be together. Mm -hmm. Ain't y'all heard that before? Hello? Ain't no way in the world two saved people can't work together. Y'all ain't never heard that before? Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened again with the contention. And the contention was so sharp between them. Between two people with the Ruach HaKadosh, did what happen? That they departed asunder one from the other. And what happened? And so Barnabas took Mark and, and sailed to Cyprus. Yeah. And Shaul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the Aki unto the Khan of Allahim. That's good. Say that Titus <clears throat> chapter 1. Might be two. Should have told him about bringing with him uh, or the y'all. What I want, one and what? The two. What's the last verse of chapter one? 16. Let me hear 14. Listen to the book. <clears throat> not giving heed to Yahudim fables and commandments of Anashim that turn from the Amat. Mm -hmm. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, mm -hmm. but even their mind and conscience is defiled. Yeah. They profess that they know Allahim, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every ta'u work reprobate. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2. Two, give me, uh, what's the last verse? 15. Let me hear 12. Listen. Teaching us that denying Rasha and worldly lust. That's not what I want. Third chapter. What's the last verse? 15. 15 now. Oh, goodness. Yeah, 15 and then. 3 and 11. Second Timothy is what I'm thinking. Okay. I apologize. Second Timothy. <coughs> Chapter 4. What's the last verse? 22. 22, so give me 18. 4 and 18. What was I thinking, Tyler? Go ahead. Listen to the book. I want higher than that? Yeah. Give me 15. 4 and 15. Verse uh, 11. Oh, verse 11? All right. Well, well take me up to verse 9. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. Yeah. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world. Listen. And is departed unto Thessalonica. Yeah. Cretans to, Cretans to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Yeah. Only Oria is with me. Y'all yeah, see that? He's the only one with him is Oria. What happened? Take Mark and bring him with thee. Tell him why. For he is profitable to me for the ministry. Mm-hmm. Y'all yeah, see that? <clears throat> That's the same Mar that is Yaukanon. That's right. The same man, he was so hot, he didn't want to come with him one time. That's right. The same man, he was so pissed with him because he had turned around and left the work, he did not want that man with him. Yep. That he wound up falling out with Barnabas about him and separated. Now he just told him the only person with him was Oriel. Yep. And then he just told him to bring Mark with him. That's right. So he was profitable to him for the ministry. See, a lot of times what we don't realize and don't consider, sometimes people are not profit in their state at that time. But you let some time pass and let people work, people can come right back and be profitable to you. So a lot of times, uh, that's why when it comes down to different situations or people being moved or people put in position, it's best you let people that skill do what they do. When you tell them, don't judge that, before you cut somebody off and cut them off the hill, let the work keep going. Because these same people can turn around and be profitable to you later. Y'all got it. Why well, I get on a lot of these, I can't hear some of y'all and I get on you. Because, hell, you ain't never been profitable. Now, that day, a seed that ain't never tried to sprout or grow, ain't never tried to work, hell, ain't hard to kill that. It's just like when he came to the fig tree. Ain't like hell, he ever seen no figs on it. But I see some trees in here where I seen some figs bloom on them. 
And if I go in them and I work around that tree and dig a little bit and work around that tree and kind of cultivate that saw around there and put some little manure around that tree, that tree will start back blooming just like it was before. Well, you come past a tree every time you see it, you want fruit, it ain't got nothing to believe. It ain't hard to curse that tree. Yeah. You ain't never seen it curse no tree ain't got no fruit. It with no fruit on it don't make sense. The tree, the tree working, the tree bearing. Only thing you do that tree that is you want to purge it. You might prune it, cut it back some, so it can grow out and get stronger. So you might come down through there and cut. Choo, choo, choo. I just want that tree to get stronger. I try to do that with some of y'all here. Some of y'all ain't gonna work. I just ain't. Some of y'all here being with y'all ain't never seen it believe. Otherwise, you just wonder how long you gonna keep that tree. But you keep hoping. Like he said with the husband, you waiting on the precious fruit. Ain't but a few people you can really count on these. They're bad. And you know what bad? This, this is me as a man. I would feel bad if I was a person that couldn't be counted on. Yeah. I would feel bad if I was a person that couldn't be recommended. It's bad something I wouldn't recommend for nothing. If I didn't recommend you anything, it'd be to the sword. But I try to keep it out because I try to hope some of y'all to try to chant, hope you turn over the wheat. Turn something the man can, I look at what the man going to take in the barn. The man ain't going to take no whole bunch of leaves in that barn. I went in my garage the other day. All I seen was leaves. I was sweeping that shit out. I don't want no leaves in my garage. That man looking for fruit when he come in. Anything that night, that's what he said. And I started sweeping them leaves off, thinking about it. He said, well, he's wintering fan. So he going he to purge his floor. He gonna, that's what he's doing. He's sweeping. He's getting that stuff out. That was his whole purpose. When Yahusha came through that with that wheel, what y'all think he was doing? Man, like a wintering. What you, that man, so he was cleaning that house out. He like, y'all got to get out of here. Y'all ain't bringing no fruit. I don't see nothing but leaves in here. My goal is for us to produce folk that we don't want them getting cut off later. A lot of times, y'all waste a lot of time doing stuff. Y'all deal with weak people, ain't trying to grow, ain't trying to get you strong. You can't make it like that. You need people to challenge you to try to push you to be better. You need people to put you in that situation so you can start thinking, listen, folks, we're going to go through a hard time out here. A lot of y'all can't take the little stuff you get here. What y'all going to do when you get here when these people start coming at us and take us? When you got to fight these people, combat these people, these people are wicked out here. These people are wicked. Y'all don't have no idea what y'all got to do. Y'all let little stuff take y'all down. Man, you got to be willing to stand. Yeah. I'm just man, honey, man, you got to stand. Got to. Y'all hear me? Everybody here, man, everybody here got a past. You just ain't got to let it be your future. That's right. You got to have your mindset. When y'all came here, what was your mindset? What were you coming here to do? Sometimes you got to do just like that, man. You got to go back. You got to look <clears> for the old past. That's right. Such a man, what you came, what was your mindset? Because some of y'all let people get you to start, people get y'all. I ain't never let people be my salvation. And all people I've done would disappoint me with them. I ain't none of these four had no bearings on you That's right. Because I ain't never set nobody to be no Yahuwah for me. People sit around there for me, man, I'd be glad. I don't want to do that. I just want to sit back in a lazy ass. You ought to go dig and go into hell. Go early. Man, we got to work. That man said, I got to work the work of them that sent me while it's you. That's right. When the night come, I can't work. Yes, sir. When Layla come, ain't a man can work when you hit the grave. What is, what the man gonna give me out of sit back ain't been doing nothing? Absolutely nothing. You know, told that man give you a talent. You pulled to use that talent. He let you know when I gave it to you. I want you to bring me back entry. <clears throat> yeah. When I started this thing, I won by about eight of us. And hell, four or five of them with my family. <laughs> The man, look, he gave me a million talent. I pulled to get him some interest. That's right. He ain't looking at me to come back with that same eight time I've been holding on. I was looking for interest. That's right. I'm looking for interest when I get back him. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. That's what we got to be doing. Y'all trying to sit back lazy and use other people. I don't use nobody for no excuse in him. You got to still keep your mind. Your obligation don't change because somebody fall. If it's a husband, a wife, a kid, go, your obligation don't change. People sitting here because you wounded by stuff. Hell, everybody wounded. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. That folks tell me, I ain't never got beat up. Hell, you ain't never been in no fight. Right. Ain't hard not to get beat up if you ain't never fought. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you the fastest person in your whole neighborhood. <laughs> Nobody couldn't mm -hmm. catch you to beat your ass. I was slow. I took a couple of ass with me. Well, I took more than a couple. But I was out there. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. I just being honest. Listen, if you gonna be out here working, you gonna get tried. Yeah. If you gonna stand, you gonna get tested. If you gonna be for your hood, you gonna be ridiculed and you gonna be criticized. But I'm doing something. Yes, sir. One thing you gotta worry about: a sitting down, lazy ass nigga ain't gotta worry <laughs> about nothing. You ain't no threat to nobody. 
When you're a threatening people, people got to look at you trying to make you a fault. I thought I grew up, man, as pretty as I was when I was growing up. But I was a big, I ain't had much criticism. All them other been there crying and shit in their pamper. I'm laying like, oh, all pretty, ain't even you my pamper. Brand spanking new laying up there. Who you think gonna help them? One of them gonna crawl, put their shit in pamper on me, make look like I done used the bathroom up there. I was a newborn baby, that wasn't me. I was too pretty to use my pamper. <laughs> Nursery, I had to deal with all that stuff. You had to suffer. I had to right. kill. That's right. Y'all all right. I'm yes, saying, you want to suffer. You got to give. You got to suffer. If you got your mind set on being safe, people going to try you stuff, going to come at you. You ain't going to feel your bed. You still got to press through it. It don't take nothing to stop and quit. That's what folks do now. They'll just stop, quit. Don't worry about it. I don't want to do nothing. Hey, come get it. I don't want to do nothing. Sit your ass down. Don't try to make Sit your ass down. Nobody need no sorry ass nigga. That man, honey, nobody should have to make you do nothing. That's right. I'll be in your heart to serve you, whore. That's that man, honey. I look at him better, get him better. Damn, she can't dance. That thing be, she be like, Mars Simpson, that thing be shaking. I'm like, go on, Mars. I don't be looking for a home in the comb, but she. That thing be. I said, do your thing. I ain't on me, man. Do your thing, shoot. You know what it is to you. You wrote it. You feel it. That's, that's your song. And there I'm being honest with. What are we going to do? That boy say, do, do it heartily to him. Mm -hmm. Do it heartily. I, I, man, I'm to a point now. I'm old now. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I'm closer to the grade than I am to keep going. I've been looking more and more at that damn Harry play, man, play. I'm, I'm about ready to go now. <laughs> Before I get out of the head full, I just want I want to just get a stick and hold my head about to catch it so that damn pillow don't mess it up. So the folks see hair all around him. Before I go to Philly, be like, whoa, his hat, it run all back now. I'm trying to tell you now. For if I don't get it before I leave him, get it for me. <laughs> get that little soul in for me. That's it, I'm trying to tell you. Now. I'm, I'm, I pop in here with it now. I don't want that old jealous shit now. Y'all sit on back now. <laughs> I've been fighting too long now. That hair just make a show now. I look at that, I said, boy, I had that hair, but, uh, but that hair takes away some of your look. I put that thing up, but she's going to try to lock me in there. I ain't going to be leave out that house. But I'm going to do it any damn way. I'm going to get it. I got to get it. Y'all all right. Zach, yes, you don't want your hair back. But you've been bothered since you was a teenager, ain't it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, what? It started when he was a teenager? No, because he had dreads. Braids. I thought dreads. I'm sorry. He's he been a long time. Some of y'all still in y'all 20. I know I have. I have a ball here about, what, 13? <laughs> Kevin, when you say you got ball at 9? 19. <laughs> Man, that's about the same thing. Ain't that what a one in front of it. Some of y'all started early, man. I made it in my 40s. I, I hung in there, I'm, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back. It's just a matter of time. This tax money y'all coming in here with. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how y'all get, get, I'm going to get a Baraka line over here. <laughs> First, all I need is 15 members to give me $1,000. Now, ho, ho, I don't need everybody. Just the people that want a real Baraka. <laughs> that my father used to give me one of those lying bastards. <laughs> don't tell me he ain't want everybody. And I was sitting there like, he said, whoa, and then he said, he said, go back. No, 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 not everybody. There's people that really, really, really want to be blessed. You're like, oh, hell, you finna get this, but I'm gonna make <laughs> Now the man done suck at me. I'm gonna make this man take my damn money. <laughs> now I'm playing me, telling me, no, this is only for people trying to take the go. You're like, you don't think I really, really, really want to be blessed? Tell me my damn money in the hole. This ain't gonna go in vain. When I put this hair on y'all, we gonna use this hair. This gonna be for all those, this gonna be for Zach from 17, how you was? Zach, you bald here, 430. Zach, we know you low now. How did Zach was bald here? We met him, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Zach, we ain't never known you with no hair. Nah, no, you know it, no. Oh, I remember the time he had that thing and I like Craig head. Craig still up there, Craig got here now. It go like that and kind of come to the <laughs> side and stay. No, it's an arrow tilt. <laughs> it's an arrow tilt. Don't wear that. I'll take it though right now. Where I'm at? Craig, wear it as long as you can. That's if right. If I can get that thing up there, boy, give me one of those spadoodle. Brother, what happened to your spadoodle that time you had up in there? I'm going to get me a spadoodle in mine. How many of y'all want a spadoodle before you leave? Don't try to act. You get over here and where we're at. Hell, you be glad to get I'm going to let it just drip. Spadoodle. When I get mine, I'm going to let it drip. Yeah, right. It's going to be wet. I'm going to put them and have a tie around my neck. I'm going to get it. Let that thing there. That thing, yeah, they, they, they gonna be some jealous mm -hmm. ass nigga. That thing. Yeah, let that one droop that droop. Yeah, right. I'm just let one little hair just lay right up in there. Yeah, right. I'm gonna throw that thing back. Yeah. 
and he talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all ass. TJ, you want to get your? Hey, my dad, that's lead that raising it right where it's at. <laughs> put that thing right back in the box and put that mm -hmm. a movie theater. Don't they head like it belongs at a movie theater? Mm -hmm. And a raising that box. Show <laughs> do. Or a box of goobles. <laughs> no, they had candy called goobles now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of you fucking ain't be out there. Y'all all right. But listen, all right, that's good. I ain't going to hold y'all out tonight. Thank you, most high. Most, all right, most high with it, I try to teach y'all something. Appreciate y'all. I ain't want to hold y'all that long.